Kaltzma, and I'm a proud member of the West Michigan Quilters Guild. So today, the demo is actually going to be teaching you how to paint and embellish fabric like I did on the garment here today. The products that I used are from Derwent, and they're called Ink Intense. They, they're like a crayon, but the pigment is actually ink. And what that does is it gives you this fabulous, really vibrant color that is totally permanent on fabric. The garment has been washed. And when this is painted on the garment, it did not bleed at all, all right? It, also, it comes available in blocks, and that's what I'll mostly be using today is in the block format. So it kind of looks like an artist's pastel, about the size and shape of an artist's pastel. They are also available in pencil form. Um, I like the pencils because it's like drawing with a pencil, which is something you're very comfortable with already. With the pencil, though, it is a very fine tip. And for me, personally, it doesn't put down as much color as I like to use at a time. So for me, the blocks is going to be the better option. The last tool, really, is a textile medium. A textile medium is a medium that can be mixed with any type of acrylic paint, um, with this type of, of a product, and it's going to make it so that you can actually paint on fabric, and the fabric is going to keep a hand. Now, when you use the textile medium, it does create a stiffness in the fabric, but it's no stiffer than an embroidery. So if you've ever done an embroidered sweatshirt or something like that, you know what that feels like. It's no stiffer than that. So if you feel the garment afterwards, and I will give you permission to touch the garment, um, you'll see that it has a little bit of a stiffness, but certainly nothing more than an embroidery on a sweatshirt. So it's going to be something that you can still wear. There's a piece that's going to float around the um, audience there, and that piece you'll be able to touch it. You'll be able to touch the parts where it's very soft. There was no fabric medium used whatsoever. The hand of the fabric does not change which means without any fabric medium, you could color any fabric, any color you wanted without changing the hand of the fabric. It's still gonna be very soft. When you use the fabric medium, you're gonna be able to get more intense color and the color is gonna stay exactly where you put it. So that's why I like using the fabric medium so much. All right? So in its very basic form, the ink intense pens can be colored on a piece of fabric. No different than when you're coloring in a coloring book. You can press very hard, get intense color. I love the ability that it has to blend. So on this section here, I didn't put any fabric medium. This was just on dry fabric. Now, I can take a little bit of water, and I'm gonna have mostly just water in this. And I'm going to just use a sponge. I'm going to pick up some of the water. And I'm going to go over that that I just colored on. And look what it does. Creates fabulous color. And it turns out so much more vibrant. And I always enjoy, after I've colored on it, to come back with more colors. And you see how it just the, the color just slides right on, almost like paint right out of a tube. Because I've only used water, when this dries, I'll press it with my iron, but it will be totally permanent. So I've just created a blue and green fabric that used to be yellow, which means if you're looking for that just that right color for that little section of your quilt, you can easily create the color that you want in just a few steps, and it's very quick. When I did the project on the garment, I needed the color that I was putting to, down to be very contained. I needed it to stay within the feather that I had quilted, and I wanted the colors to be really, really bright. So on the piece that I have here on the table, I actually quilted last night some feathers on this fabric so that you can see exactly how I did what I did on the garment. Right? I take my, my water and I add the fabric medium to it. And it's about a two to one, 
So when you put the fabric medium in, you don't need a lot, and you're gonna take your paintbrush and you mix it with the water until it creates a kind of a cloudy water. You don't want too much. If you do too much, it's just gonna be too stiff and you won't want it to be too watery because if it's too watery, it will bleed all over your fabric. You'll notice some of the parts on the garment that I did have a little bleed. That was because where, that's where I started and I got better and better as I went along. So these first leaves here, I actually painted these with the fabric medium sub, uh, fabric medium mixed with water about 20 minutes ago. I like to do that because it makes the fabric medium a little bit drier on the fabric. And then when I'm painting and coloring with my ink intense pencils, it doesn't bleed. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit how I did that. So I haven't painted this feather, so I'm gonna take it. And I like to start painting in the middle of the feather because that water is going to bleed a little bit. So when I get here to the point, I'm taking what is almost a dry brush and just bringing it to the edges of the feather. I don't want it to be too wet down there in those points because I don't want it to bleed. So I do this type of work about 10 to 20 minutes before I actually plan on putting the color down, all right? So I've already done that with these sections here. So now I'm gonna come to these sections that were painted about 10, 15 minutes ago or so, and I'm gonna just start coloring. And when you're putting the color down, it's not a real solid, you can see where it's kind of airy and dusty looking almost. Don't worry about it. Just keep putting color down. Don't worry about it being a super intense, solid um, color yet. Add another color up here on the top just because that's fun. I love using the corners of the cubes, the little blocks. That's where I get the pointiness. I can pull out the pencils if I want, but like I said, I just, there's just not enough color fast enough for my liking. Now I'm gonna dip into my fabric medium again and I'm gonna come back with not a really wet brush and I'll start painting. And look at the color just pop. And because I had done the fabric medium on the fabric before, it's not gonna bleed out. When I did this piece last night, I didn't do it before. I put down my color, I came back to paint and sure enough, it bled right here. So when I want the color to be very contained by painting it First, letting it dry a little bit, then coming back with using a, just a moist brush, I'm able to get right in here to the ends without having to worry about it bleeding to where I don't want it. The colors blend beautifully. So here I have my blue. Now I'm gonna come up here and start blending into my green. So the blue and the green are gonna blend together here. Get all the way down into the point. Now at this point, that's a pretty leaf, but it sure is nicer if you add more color. So I'm gonna come in with a little bit of a lighter blue, add more on top here, add a yellow up here at the top to get a little bit more highlighted. And I am by no means a painter or a drawer. This technique is just that easy. Getting these colors to blend makes you feel like you've actually taken a paint class. And then my favorite thing on the garment for the highlighting was to take the white crayon, the white in the group, and actually add white right here into the center. And it just lightened it all up and made the whole thing glow. clean off my brush a little bit so I don't blend too much into that white. I want that white to stay bright. And that was it. It was that easy to create that much color. Now, to get the highlighting that I got in the garment, after the pieces were dry, after the paint was dry, I took my Pigma pen and I actually outlined right on the very edge. Now, on this piece, I used a blue thread so you can actually see an outline. But on the garment, I used a white thread. So without the outlining of the black 
Pigma pen on the very edge, I wasn't going to be able to get the definition that I really wanted to show on the garment. Now another way that you can use this technique is on just regular black and white fabric. So here I have a piece of black and white fabric that is just screaming to be colored in. So I took the ink and tents and I had actually painted these circles again about 15-20 minutes ago and now I'm going to go back and color them. You don't have to be real, real careful with the coloring. Oops, sometimes the blocks break, but that's okay. Then you just have two, and then you have another really sharp edge on it. Now I'll add another color over here. And you can tell there is a big difference from drawing on dry fabric, the not been treated fabric, to drawing on one that has actually had some of the fabric medium painted on. It really goes on much smoother. There's a big difference. Now I'm going to dip it into my fabric medium mix and come back and blend it. Going right to the edges with this one because this particular fabric has that really great solid black line not really worried too much about staying off the black line. The black line will still show through really strong. And I can blend it all the way to the edge. So I didn't have to color to the edge. You're actually going to blend all the way to the edge. And then of course adding more color. And I love doing this. I've got all this color on my brush. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more fabric medium. Now I'm going to go all the way down here to this circle and use that extra color as another shade of what I've done. So on this piece, I can have these light green circles all the way up here to these dark green circles. Then I'm going to take a red. I also colored, I've got to figure out, this one here. These are ones that I pre-painted. It would be cool to add some new color up here on the butterfly. So this time I'm just going to add color to the middle and I got really intense pigment down. Get the blue off my paintbrush a little bit. And take that color all the way to the edge. It's really a very simple technique. It looks really artsy artsy, like, oh my goodness, did she take a class? No, I didn't take a class. I just bought the blocks, took it home, and started playing with it. There are quite a few YouTube videos out on the um, internet now that have lots of different techniques that they're doing with this product. I honestly didn't find any that used the fabric medium. When I, most of the YouTube videos that I saw online we're using the um, Ink Intense pencils to get a very watercolor look, which is a fabulous look if that's what you're looking for. But for the garment, I needed a very bold color in a very specific place. So using the fabric medium was the way I was able to get the results that I wanted. Do a little shading here. As I lay down that yellow, you can see how it changes the color of that first one that I put down and blend and then the color kind of the yellow wakes up and now you can really see it and there you have it thank you all for coming <laughs>